Hey, this is John Twining for the One Biota Network. I was walking out here in the forest today near a vernal pool and look what I found. A spotted turtle. Well, these are small turtles. They only get to be about three to five inches. It's called a spotted turtle for obvious reasons. On the uh, carapace, you can see that there are yellow spots on each of the scutes. And the scutes are these scales that cover the uh, shell on the upper side of the turtle. In the middle, we have vertebral scutes. And then on either side of those are pleural or costal scutes. And then around the outside are marginal scutes. I know this is a male because on the underside of this shell, uh, which is called the plastron, this central part is concave. It's got a little uh, curve in it. If this was a female, this would be completely flat. Now, of course, he's inside of his shell at the moment, but if he came out, we would see that he would have brown eyes and a dark area under the chin, and then also a much thicker, longer tail than you would find in a female. So these turtles are very active in the early spring. They usually uh, can be seen in March uh, when it's pretty cool outside, which is different for reptiles. Most of them like it to be warm, but this particular turtle is fairly cold tolerant. And so they are out in March swimming around in the vernal pools, looking for food and potentially starting to look for mates. Uh, they probably won't mate until uh, May or so and lay eggs in June. These are a turtle that was once considered a species of special concern in Massachusetts, but they've been delisted. And the truth of the matter is we really don't have a good handle on the population size for these either in Massachusetts or Rhode Island, which is where I'm at now. So these turtles are omnivores. They like uh, vegetation from a vernal pool. They also like uh, larval amphibians. They like to eat insects. And they always do their eating in the water. They like to come out when the sun is out, bask on dry land, and get lots of uh, solar heat to warm themselves up. These are ectotherms. They can't maintain their own metabolic heat. So they rely on the external heat of their environment to keep them warm. These turtles are beautiful animals. Look at that beautiful coloration on their skin. As you can see underneath there, it's like a salmon color. Look at those sharp little claws on the end of those toes. Of course, the limbs are made for both walking and for swimming. These are excellent swimmers. They can swim away from you very, very quickly when they're frightened, or they can bury themselves down in the bottom and it's hard to find them. It's a pretty cool animal. I wanted to be able to show it to you here on the One Biota Network. I think I'm gonna let them go and see if I can get some video of him swimming off into the vernal pool. As I watched the spotted turtle swim off into the vernal pool, I'm reminded that as stewards and caretakers of this planet, we have a responsibility to protect animals like the spotted turtle and their habitats. So until next time, when it comes to other species, be more compassionate, show mercy, and act justly. We'll see you again soon.